Right, just come along there and now I'm going this way, across the field. You normally go down that way there and then along like that and go straight across. And I've been up in the wood earlier. I remember this because when this was really high I couldn't see this path because it was um, eight foot high maze and um, basically Basically, I, I came so far across, I've only really just remembered about this track actually, and there's a gate there, see a little gate, and, um, but there's cows in that field. <sighs> yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Lovely big tree there. Yeah, I forgot about this. It is a bit of a shortcut because normally I would have done the right angle there. Over there, look. But no, I wanted to do this, so now I know it goes diagonal straight over to that way, like that. Okay. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. I've had a lovely walk up there. I'm not actually going that far from home really either. Not really going that far from home. It isn't really. I mean I plan to walk near the Winterstoke Road area. It's got another name I know. Um, and um, get the number seven when I'm more or less in town but it'll save me having to walk up that long road or the beach no I don't really want to do that after you've been out you you don't really want to do that very last very boring long straight I can cope with it more when I'm leaving but when you've been out on a nice long hike it's quite demoralizing really now over there you might see the stone. Is that the stone or might be further up the field? I think that's the memorial stone or it could be further up. The woman who's remembered there. And of course I, there's a stile there. There's a gate further down. There's a stile there. I got the feeling this is permissible. This is permissible here. Yeah? yeah, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? I've been so lucky today. And of course, there are public walkways everywhere leading on the other side of a track there you can dig and delve all around this area but you need to really be over here to do it properly because I can't sort of start deviating and thinking oh I'll just go over there it'll probably take you to Crook's Peak for example um, could do Anyway, here we are, we're at this um, little gate here. I 
And of course, where I got through, it's more or less, I'll just, I'll just zoom in to the place where I got through. There's a branch sticking up, well, dead one. I got through there. In theory, I didn't quite know what I was doing, but I got through that gap and, it's, and then I walked along the edge of the field. But I didn't mind doing that. Because I was good. I forgot about this path. I didn't want to ruin their crop by walking straight that way. So basically, I... Uh, Stop here for a minute. So basically, I uh, went along there, over there, over and out for a minute. Okay, I just heard some crows up here. So not crows, ravens. Um, I would be much further ahead, but there's, there's two blokes. I think one's older than the other, and they're very slow. So basically, I'm I'm trying to give them a head start, but when they're the sort of people that just keep stopping. So I do. I thought I'd do a little video. I think they've moved on from the house now. I think they might not have. They might still be sitting. I think there's a seat there. If they're sat on that, I just go on by because they're going to be really slow. But anyway, there's the wood over there. I reckon they're still there. There's the wood over there. Is well, I'm not. The thing is, I do videos, I do photos, and I, I, I that's why I go alone. So I don't want to sort of join up with some like really slow people who are having a brilliant walk, and they probably don't want me either. So all's well. At least it's a lovely avenue of trees here. That leads down to Bowenwell there. There are beautiful trees over there that I've taken quite a few photos of. They, they stick out so much. Beautiful trees. I walked along the edge and then came... Remembering last year when I nearly got lost in the like high maize field, where it could have been the year before. And I just remembered it then. It's only because I kept close to the... And I looked back, I could see a path coming over and I thought, ah, that's that diagonal path. These people could be walking exactly where I'm going. It doesn't happen to me very often. No, it don't happen to me very often. There's this lovely, lovely little house here. Oh, quintessential, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Quintessential English um, cottage. Beautiful. It's what everyone dreams of, isn't it, really? You know what I mean? It's um, out in the quiet countryside. They've got people walking a lot more, I expect, they've noticed with the furlough, the, the restrictions, the COVID lockdown and everything. They must have had a lot of people. So I'd like to know where that went. That probably, because there's the motorway there, but is there a footbridge or anything? Where does that take you? I'd like, I'm very tempted to do that because that might actually weave around really nicely uh, to the bridge for all I know, or it might go down that way. So I'm not going to do it today. There's other times I can get a bus and get off in Bamwell and just nip up here and try that another time. Bluebells. Hear the little bird chirping away. I don't know what that bird is. Probably a bird I know, but I don't know what it sounds like. Here's a little beetle on his journey. Come on. Up you get. Little wood beetle. Struggling in life like the rest of us. Yes, yeah, so that's a lovely little avenue. I'm surprised there aren't more people out, but like I say, a lot of people have gone back to work now. The kids are at school. People have had to stay home to look after their kids. Look at these lovely white snowdrops, or white bluebells, aren't they lovely? Lovely, lovely little 
Avenue there, Warren Cottage, now that's right, Warren Cottage, that's what it's called, I remember now, this must be part of their garden here, but what a lovely view they've got, somebody's left their bag behind, haven't they, let's have a look, those two people I expect, there's somebody's left something in here, a football, <laughs> What a con that is. Someone will come back for it. A little child, I expect. Lost their football. Cheeky child. That's a cheeky child bag, that is. Motorway down there. We get lots of view of the Crook's Peak as we go along. And I was up there in February. Oh, isn't that sweet little bird table? Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, it's really nice. Poor people, they've got to put up with people like me walking by. I just think it's got a lovely home, haven't they? It's beautiful. Idyllic. I do look. I got. I just noticed they got a camera on there. Good, well, they need one out here. Beautiful, though, isn't it? Beautiful. I wonder how far up these two blokes have got. I thought if they were two young blokes, they would have been bombing off by now. They're going at such a slow pace. It must be one, must be older than he looks. But not all old people go slow. He could be younger than me, or he could be older than me. I don't really want me walk dictated by others, though, if you know what I mean, because. Something coming, let's see if we can catch it on the video. So now it could be a private helicopter. <laughs> Disappeared now. Anyway, there's the lovely woods. Now, next time I come over here, which I'm going to leave it till mid-May, so I can capture those garlic flowers, I'll see if I can find a map, show me where that path goes, and I might, when I come over here next, explore that. But this should all be in, in leaf. Nice, fresh, green leaves, I reckon. Yeah, I might be able to see. There might be a road down. I've got, well, there is a road down there, Sheila. It's that Banwell one. There's a road. It curls, When you go further up there, there's a road that curls down. That will probably just take you down there on that road. It might take you through further up so you can get out. Do you know what? I can't keep up with the uh, amount of work I'm doing on videos and photos though. I'm whacking the photos on sharply on Facebook, but I'm very, I'm quite behind now with um, doing WMV for the videos and getting them on disc. I'm ca catching up in one way and also I'm getting them on Facebook, I'm behind. I, I, I like being on time, really. People are getting them like two weeks late, a month late. God, look at that. That always That's always such a powerful scene when I come here. Let me go back up again. Like that is, that's very powerful, isn't it? All those lovely trees. But when you come here, you think, wow, look at that. You know? 
I'm going to run out of bloody memory in a minute, aren't I? But there again. Oh, God, it's beautiful, isn't it? So that path, there's a fence there, so that path back there must take you down there somewhere and perhaps onto that road. That is quite a busy road down there. And then you've got cows everywhere. Unless there's a gate. Thought I heard somebody. Yeah, unless there's a gate further down. Yeah, there's probably a gate down there. You could probably wander down there and then, but you'll be on that road, see? That road links up to where I'm going to go eventually to cross the motorway. Yeah, I can't see where it will go unless there's a track right over there behind that farm. <sighs> that could lead down to where the Hinkley Point are doing their pipe laying. It's looking a bit tamer now. I can't see any big heavy vehicles anymore. It does look like it's quieting down that they're probably doing lawning now it does look very tame I think they must have finished no big heavy machinery so literally it's probably going to be just grass again it's not going to be a bypass right folks let's carry on see if he's probably get caught up by someone else otherwise in a minute I'm just going to turn off for a while, I just need to take a picture of